Today, I want to talk to you about five important signs that the universe is blessing you right now. These signs are powerful indicators that positive energy is flowing into your life, bringing with it abundance, joy, and transformation. Let's explore the first sign together. I want you to take a moment and really notice how you're feeling in your life at this very moment. Are you feeling a sense of alignment and flow? It's important to pay attention to this because it can tell us a lot about where we are on our journey. When you're in alignment with your true self and the universe, life just seems to flow effortlessly. It's like everything falls into place perfectly, as if by magic. You feel a deep sense of peace and contentment, like you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Imagine waking up in the morning feeling excited and eager to start your day, knowing that you're on the right path and that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. That's what it feels like to be in alignment and flow. You might notice that things just seem to come together easily for you. Opportunities seem to appear out of nowhere, and you find yourself effortlessly attracting the people and experiences that align with your highest good. But alignment isn't just about external circumstances. It's also about how you feel on the inside. When you're in alignment, you feel a deep sense of inner peace and calm. You trust in yourself and in the universe, knowing that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. Think about a time when you felt completely at ease and in sync with the world around you. Maybe it was during a quiet moment in nature or while spending time with loved ones. That feeling of peace and harmony is what it means to be in alignment. Think about those moments when everything just seems to click into place. It's as if the universe is whispering in your ear, guiding you along your path with grace and ease. These moments are not just coincidence. They are signs that you are in alignment with the divine flow of life. So if you're feeling a sense of alignment and flow, embrace it. Trust that everything is unfolding exactly as it should and remain open to receiving all the blessings that are coming your way. The second sign that the universe is showering blessings upon you is experiencing healing. Healing can show up in many different ways. It might be physical, emotional, or even spiritual. Maybe you've noticed that an ailment you've been struggling with is starting to improve, or perhaps you found a newfound sense of peace and closure regarding a past hurt. No matter how it appears, healing is a sure sign that good things are unfolding in your life. It's a signal that you're releasing old pains and making room for fresh blessings to enter your life. Remember, healing is not a one-time event, but rather a journey that unfolds over time. So, Welcome it with open arms and trust that the universe is guiding you toward greater wholeness and well-being. Sometimes healing can take us by surprise. You might wake up one day and realize that a physical ailment isn't bothering you as much as it used to. Or you might find that you're able to forgive someone who hurt you deeply in the past. These moments of healing are like little miracles sprinkled throughout our lives reminding us that we're always supported and cared for by the universe. It's important to acknowledge and celebrate these moments of healing, no matter how small they may seem. Each step forward, no matter how tiny, brings us closer to living a life of joy, abundance, and fulfillment. So, take a moment to reflect on the healing you've experienced in your life and express gratitude for the progress you've made. Let's dive into the third sign, embracing self-love. Loving yourself is incredibly important for your well-being and happiness. It's like giving yourself a warm hug from the inside out. When you love yourself, it's like building a strong and sturdy foundation for all the good things in life to flow into. Think about how you talk to yourself each day. Are you kind and gentle, or are you hard on yourself? 
Your words and thoughts matter because they shape how you feel about yourself. Every time you say something to yourself, you're planting a seed in your mind. So why not choose to plant seeds of love and kindness? Tell yourself how wonderful you are, how capable you are, and how much you deserve happiness. Embrace your quirks and flaws because they make you who you are. Treat yourself with the same love and compassion you would offer to a friend. When you truly love yourself, something magical happens. You start to attract even more love into your life. It's like you become a magnet for all the good things that the universe has to offer. So, I want you to take a moment every single day to appreciate yourself. Remind yourself of all the amazing qualities you possess and all the wonderful things you bring to the world. You are unique. There's nobody else quite like you. You're special, and you deserve all the love and blessings that come your way. So don't forget to give yourself some love and appreciation each day. It's not selfish. It's necessary for your well-being and happiness. Let's take a closer look at the fourth sign, overcoming fear. Fear is something everyone feels at some point. It's a natural part of being human. But just because you feel afraid, it doesn't mean you have to let fear control your life. Often fear is like a trickster, showing us things that seem real but aren't. The key is to trust yourself and trust the universe. Believe that you have the strength and resilience to overcome whatever challenges come your way. Instead of letting fear dictate your choices, choose love. Love is a powerful force that can help you conquer even the most daunting obstacles. Take a step forward with courage and confidence, even if you're unsure of what lies ahead. Know that you have the ability to achieve anything you set your mind to. By facing your fears head on, you take back control of your life and open yourself up to a world of possibilities. Now, let's take a closer look at the fifth sign, embracing positive affirmations. Affirmations are like magical spells that can transform your life. They are simple yet powerful statements that you repeat to yourself to create positive change. When you affirm what you want in a positive and empowering way, you are sending a clear message to your subconscious mind. You are telling yourself and the universe what you desire to manifest in your life. Affirmations have the power to reprogram your subconscious mind, replacing negative beliefs with positive ones. Imagine your subconscious mind as a garden, and affirmations are the seeds you plant. When you nurture these seeds with repetition and belief, they grow into beautiful flowers of positivity and abundance in your life. So take some time each day to affirm what you want to manifest. I appreciate what I have. And you know what? The universe loves gratitude. It's like giving it a high five and saying, more please. So when you watch this video and feel grateful for it, you're actually inviting even more awesome stuff into your life. It's like saying, I'm open and ready for all the good things that are coming my way. And trust me, the universe is listening. Just think about it for a moment. How amazing is it that this video found its way to you? It's not by accident, my friend. It's a little nudge from the universe, guiding you towards something special. Maybe it's a message you needed to hear, or a reminder that you're on the right path. So take a moment right now to be thankful for this video finding you. Say thank you out loud or just think it in your head. Feel the gratitude in your heart and let it fill you up with joy. Because when you're grateful, you're sending out a signal to the universe that you're ready for more abundance, more happiness, more of everything good. And you know what's really cool? The more you practice gratitude, the more abundance you'll attract into your life. It's like a never-ending cycle of goodness. The universe loves to reward gratitude with even more blessings. So why not start right now? Take a deep breath and think about all the things you're grateful for. Maybe it's your family, your friends, your health, 
or even just the sunshine outside. Whatever it is, big or small, take a moment to appreciate it. Feel the warmth of gratitude spreading through your body like sunshine on a cloudy day. When you're stuck in negative thinking, it's like building a wall between you and all the good stuff the universe has in store for you. Those doubts and fears, they're like bricks in that wall, keeping you from receiving the blessings that are meant to be yours. But guess what? You have the power to tear down that wall, one positive thought at a time. Every single thought you think has an impact on your life. It's like dropping a pebble into a pond. The ripples spread out and affect everything around you. So if you've been filling your mind with negativity, it's time to change course. Let go of those doubts and fears and start focusing on the good stuff instead. It's not always easy, I know. Those negative thoughts can be like stubborn weeds popping up when you least expect them. But here's the thing. You have the power to pull them out by the roots and replace them with seeds of positivity. Start by paying attention to your thoughts. Notice when those negative ones creep in and try to take over. Instead of letting them run the show, gently guide your mind back to a more positive place. It's like training a puppy. It takes time and patience, but eventually it learns to behave. Self-love is like the solid ground beneath your feet. It's what keeps you steady and strong, no matter what life throws your way. When you treat yourself with kindness and compassion, it's like giving yourself a big warm hug from the inside out. Think of yourself as a precious plant that needs watering and sunlight to thrive. Just like that plant, you need love and care to grow and flourish. So take the time to nurture your body, mind, and spirit every single day. Start by listening to your body and giving it what it needs. Eat nutritious foods that nourish you from the inside out. Get plenty of rest and relaxation, and don't forget to move your body in ways that feel good to you. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park or a gentle yoga session at home, find what brings you joy and do it often. But self-love isn't just about taking care of your physical body. It's also about nourishing your mind and spirit. Feed your mind with positive thoughts and affirmations. Surround yourself with people who lift you up and support you on your journey. And don't forget to spend time doing things that bring you joy and fulfillment, whether it's reading a good book, practicing a hobby, or simply taking a moment to breathe and be present. Forgiveness is essential for healing and growth. Release any resentment or anger you may be holding on to. By forgiving yourself and others, you create space for love and joy to enter your life. Change is inevitable, but it's also a beautiful opportunity for growth. Embrace the changes that come your way with an open heart and a positive mindset. Trust that the universe is guiding you towards your highest good. You are more powerful than you realize. You have the ability to shape your reality with your thoughts and beliefs. So choose thoughts that uplift and empower you. Believe in your ability to create the life you desire. Affirmations are like magic words that can change how you feel and think. They're simple sentences you say to yourself over and over again. When you repeat positive affirmations every day, they can make a big difference in your life. They work by rewiring your brain, like teaching it a new language. You see, your subconscious mind is like a powerful computer, and affirmations are the code that tells it what to do. So when you say positive affirmations, you're programming your subconscious mind to focus on good things. It's like planting seeds in a garden. The more you water them with your thoughts and words, the more they grow. And just like a garden, your mind will start to produce the things you focus on. If you focus on positivity and abundance, that's what you'll attract into your life. But it's not just about saying affirmations once or twice. You have to repeat them daily like a mantra. This repetition helps to reinforce the message in your subconscious mind. It's like practicing a new skill 
or learning a new song. The more you do it, the easier it becomes and the better you get at it. When you focus on positive affirmations, you're also aligning yourself with the energy of abundance. You're tuning into the frequency of success, happiness, and prosperity. And when you're in tune with that energy, you attract more of it into your life. It's like being a magnet for all the good things you desire. But remember, what you focus on expands. So if you focus on negative thoughts or worries, that's what you'll attract more of. It's like feeding the wrong seeds in your garden. They'll grow into weeds and choke out the good stuff. That's why it's so important to keep your focus on positive affirmations. So our subconscious mind is like a supercomputer that's always working behind the scenes. It doesn't judge or question. It just takes in everything we tell it and acts on it. Whatever we believe, it accepts as true and starts to make it real in our lives. Imagine it like this. If you tell yourself every day that you're not good enough, your subconscious mind will believe you and start to make that belief come true. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. But the good news is that we have the power to change those beliefs. When we start to fill our minds with positive thoughts and beliefs, our subconscious mind starts to create positive outcomes for us. It's like flipping a switch from negative to positive. Suddenly, things start to fall into place, and we start to see opportunities where we once saw obstacles. But it's not always easy to change our beliefs, especially if we've been thinking negatively for a long time. It takes practice and persistence. We have to be willing to challenge those old beliefs and replace them with new, more empowering ones. One way to do this is through affirmations. By repeating positive statements to ourselves every day, we can start to reprogram our subconscious mind and create a more positive reality for ourselves. Instead of saying, I'm not good enough, we can say, I am capable and deserving of success. It's also important to be mindful of the words we use when talking to ourselves and others. Our subconscious mind doesn't understand sarcasm or jokes. It takes everything we say at face value. So, if we're constantly putting ourselves down or speaking negatively about ourselves, our subconscious mind will take that to heart and start to believe it. Being mindful of the words we use is super important. Our subconscious mind doesn't understand jokes or sarcasm. It takes everything we say very seriously. So when we talk about ourselves or others, we got to be careful. It's easy to make jokes about ourselves, but our subconscious mind doesn't get the joke. If we keep saying mean things about ourselves, even if we're just kidding, our subconscious mind will start to believe it. That's why it's best to choose our words wisely. Instead of putting ourselves down or making jokes at our own expense, we should use words that lift us up. We should be kind to ourselves and speak words of love and empowerment. The same goes for how we talk about others. If we're always criticizing or making fun of people, our subconscious mind will think it's okay to treat them poorly. But if we speak kindly and show love and respect, our subconscious mind will pick up on that too. When you point out someone else's faults, it might be because you see those same faults in yourself. But instead of criticizing, try praising them. You'll be amazed at how it changes your own life. It's like this. When you say nice things about others, it's like planting seeds of kindness, and those seeds grow into beautiful flowers that make your life better too. So, next time you're tempted to criticize, try praising instead. Say something nice about them, even if it's just a small compliment. You'll be spreading positivity and making both their day and yours brighter. Affirmations are like magic words that can change the way we think and feel. They're a powerful tool for teaching our brains to focus on the good stuff in life. When you make affirmations, it's important to be really clear about what you want. Instead of saying things like, I don't want to be sick, 
which focuses on the sickness, you should say things like, I am a healthy person. See the difference? By using positive language, you're telling your brain what you want, not what you don't want. It's also important to be specific when you make affirmations. Don't just say, I want to be happy. Instead, say something like, I am happy and content with my life. This gives your brain a clear picture of what you're aiming for. Another thing to remember is to keep your affirmations positive. Instead of saying, I'm not going to fail, say, I am confident and capable of succeeding. This way, you're focusing on what you want to happen, not what you're afraid might happen. When you're crafting your affirmations, try to make them as personal as possible. Use words that resonate with you and reflect your own desires and values. This will make them more effective because they'll feel more real to you. It's also a good idea to repeat your affirmations regularly. The more you say them, the more they'll sink in. Try saying them out loud in front of a mirror or write them down and stick them somewhere you'll see them every day. Feeling like we're not good enough is a big obstacle to getting what we want. A lot of you grow up thinking we don't deserve good things, but guess what? You are worthy of all the good stuff in life. We've been told all sorts of things that make us feel like we're not worthy. Maybe it's from our parents or friends or even society, but those beliefs aren't true. You are just as deserving of love, success, and happiness as anyone else. It's time to change that thinking. You gotta know deep down that you deserve all the good stuff, because when you believe it, amazing things can happen. Understanding our beliefs about deservingness and self-worth is very important. If you don't think you deserve something good in your life, your subconscious mind will stop it from happening. It's like a barrier that prevents good things from coming to you. So, what can you do about it? Well, you can start by telling yourself every day that you are worthy and deserving of all the good things in life. This might feel strange at first, especially if you've never done it before, but trust me, it's worth it. Take a moment each day to affirm your worthiness. You can say things like, I deserve love, I deserve happiness, or I deserve success. Repeat these affirmations to yourself, either out loud or in your mind. It might feel uncomfortable at first, especially if you've spent a long time believing the opposite. But the more you practice affirming your worthiness, the more it will sink in. You see, your subconscious mind listens to everything you say and believe. So, if you keep telling yourself that you are worthy and deserving, your subconscious will start to believe it too. And once your subconscious believes it, amazing things can start to happen in your life. But it's not just about saying the words. You also need to believe them. Deep down, you need to truly believe that you are worthy of all the good things in life. You're in control of your life. Even the smallest step can lead to big changes, future, just beyond your reach. It's like putting a goal on a shelf and never taking it down to work on it. But here's the secret. If you want to bring your dreams to life, you have to speak about them as if they're already here. Instead of saying, I'm going to, or I will have, try saying, I am, or I have. Speak about your dreams and desires as if they're happening right now in this moment. When you do this, you're sending a clear message to the universe that you're ready for your dreams to become a reality. You're telling the universe that you believe in yourself and in your ability to make things happen. And guess what? The universe listens. It hears your words and starts working behind the scenes to make your dreams come true. So, instead of saying, I'm going to start my own business someday, try saying, I am a successful business owner. Instead of saying, I will have a happy relationship one day, try saying, I have a loving and fulfilling relationship right now. Every single thought you have matters, my dear friends. It's like dropping pebbles into a pond. 
Each one creates ripples that spread out far and wide. When you think positive thoughts, it's like dropping a pebble of sunshine into your pond of life. The ripples of positivity touch everything around you, bringing warmth, light, and good things your way. But when you entertain negative thoughts, it's like dropping a pebble of darkness into your pond. The ripples of negativity spread out, casting shadows and pushing away the good things that were on their way to you. It's not that the good things disappear entirely. They're still out there, just beyond your reach, obscured by the clouds of negativity. Imagine your mind as a garden and your thoughts as seeds that you plant in the soil. Positive thoughts are like seeds of flowers. They bloom into beauty, filling your garden with color and fragrance. But negative thoughts are like weeds. They choke out the flowers and make your garden look dull and lifeless. Have you ever been really close to getting something good, but then it felt like it slipped away right when it was within your grasp? Think about those moments in your life, you know, when you were almost there, but then it just didn't work out. If you take a moment to think back what was going on in your mind during those times, what were you feeling, what were you telling yourself? Maybe you were filled with excitement and hope only to feel disappointment when things didn't go as planned. Or perhaps you were anxious or doubtful, worrying about whether things would work out in the end. Your mental atmosphere, the thoughts and feelings swirling around inside you, played a big role in shaping the outcome. It's like when you're reaching for something on a high shelf, you stretch and stretch thinking you finally got it, but then it slips from your fingertips. It's frustrating, isn't it? But what if, instead of focusing on the disappointment, you focused on what led up to that moment? When you're reaching for your dreams, your mental atmosphere is just as important as your actions. If you're filled with doubt or fear, it's like adding weights to your balloon. It's going to be harder to reach those heights. But if you're filled with positivity and confidence, you'll soar higher and higher. When you have lots of negative thoughts bouncing around in your head, it's like building a big wall between you and the good stuff in life. These negative thoughts create a barrier that blocks out the positive energy and stops good things from coming your way. Imagine your mind as a garden and negative thoughts as weeds that sprout up and choke out the flowers of positivity. The more weeds you have, the harder it is for the flowers to grow and bloom. In the same way, too many negative thoughts make it difficult for positive affirmations to take root and flourish in your life. But here's the good news. You have the power to tear down that barrier and clear away those weeds. You can do this by learning to think and speak in positive affirmations, uplifting statements that affirm the good things you want to manifest in your life. Positive affirmations are like seeds of positivity that you plant in the garden of your mind. When you repeat these affirmations regularly, you water them with your belief and watch as they grow into beautiful flowers of abundance, health, and happiness. When you catch a negative thought, just think to yourself, this is an old thought. I no longer choose to think that way. Then find a positive thought to substitute for it as quickly as you can. It's important to remember that feeling good is key. When you're feeling happy and positive, everything seems brighter and easier. But when negative thoughts creep in, thoughts of bitterness, resentment, blame, or guilt, they can bring you down and make you feel downright miserable. Think of it like this. Your mind is like a garden, and your thoughts are the seeds you plant. Positive thoughts are like seeds of beautiful flowers that bloom and bring joy. While negative thoughts are like seeds of thorny weeds that tangle and choke the life out of your garden. So, if you want to cultivate a garden of happiness and abundance in your life, you need to let go of those negative thought patterns. It's like pulling out the weeds so that the flowers can flourish. 
When you hold on to bitterness or resentment, it's like carrying around a heavy weight on your shoulders. It weighs you down and keeps you from experiencing the lightness and joy that life has to offer. Blaming others or feeling guilty about past mistakes only serves to keep you stuck in a cycle of negativity. Affirmations are like magic spells that can make problems disappear. When you repeat positive phrases over and over again, they work like little helpers in your mind. So when things seem tough, you can say to yourself, everything is going to be okay. Good things are coming my way. I am safe. Imagine your mind as a garden. When you plant seeds of positivity with affirmations, they grow into beautiful flowers that chase away the weeds of worry and fear. So, whenever you're facing a challenge, you can water your garden with affirmations like, I trust that everything will work out in the end. I believe in myself and my abilities. I am surrounded by love and support. It's like having a secret weapon against negativity. Instead of letting problems drag you down, you can fight back with words of encouragement and hope. So, whenever doubts creep in, you can say to yourself, I am stronger than I think. I have the power to overcome any obstacle. I am worthy of success and happiness. Affirmations are like little reminders that you are in control of your own destiny. They help you focus on the good things in life, even when everything seems dark and gloomy. So whenever you're feeling lost or unsure, you can say to yourself, I trust in the journey of life. I am guided by inner wisdom and intuition. I am exactly where I need to be. So I urge you to harness the power of your thoughts and words to create the life of your dreams. You are the master of your destiny and with positive affirmations, you can manifest miracles beyond your wildest imagination.